Hi, I'm Leah and welcome to my channel where I share info on relaxed hair care and oily skin care. I have both of those things so I want to share what does and doesn't work for me in the hopes that it can help you on your relaxed hair journey and your oily skin care journey. In this video, I'll be sharing an update on my relaxed hair, how my relaxer touch-up appointment went, and what's up next with my hair. So before we get into the relaxer touch-up appointment, let's talk about the prep. What did I do to prepare my hair for the relaxer touch-up? So typically, I try to wash my hair about a week before my touch-up appointment, and this time, I ended up washing my hair about five days prior, and that was due to the fact that I had to find some time to squeeze it in. There was just a lot of stuff going on personally that just didn't allow me to do it when I normally do. Plus, I also had a few days where I was just like tired and I said I just don't want to be bothered. For this wash, I used my standard hair products, the things that are my go-to, what I use typically. So if you want to know what those are, you can go to actually my Instagram feed at a relax gal and you can see what those are because I share about them pretty much every week or every other week. I did have a few exceptions though because I wanted to make sure that I prepared my hair properly for the relaxer. So I clarified with the ORS Olive Oil Creamy Aloe Shampoo, which is my go-to clarifying shampoo. I also did a Bond Mender treatment with the Cream of Nature Plex Breakage Defense Bond Mender Pre-Treatment. It's a long, long name. <laughs> After washing my hair, I wanted to make sure that I kept it moisturized and feeling good. So I decided to moisturize my hair more throughout the week. So I moisturized and sealed almost on a daily basis. For the last few weeks, I hadn't really been doing that because I didn't feel my hair necessarily needed it, but I wanted to make sure that my hair didn't dry out. And I also would switch between wearing my hair up and wearing it down. It's been cold here lately, although as I'm recording this, we're actually having warmer weather. It's more like springtime here in North Carolina. But before my relaxer touch up, the weeks leading up to it, it had been pretty cold. And I was wearing my hair down. And when I wear my hair down and it's cold, it tends to dry out. And I did not want that to happen. So I would wear buns occasionally. I sometimes even wear a ponytail because even that helps keep my hair feeling better than when it's just down in the cold. Okay, so that was the prep. Let's go ahead and talk about the appointment. There's really not much to talk about though. The appointment was good, it went normally. I was coming off of an 11 week relaxer stretch. To get my scalp ready, my stylist based my scalp. I actually forgot to put some Jamaican black castor oil on my scalp the night before or the morning of my appointment. I typically do that and I completely forgot about it. But my stylist is really good. She based my scalp really well and then applied the relaxer, rinsed it out, neutralized my hair, washed my hair, and then conditioned my hair. It was very uneventful, which is probably actually a good thing. After conditioning my hair, she sat me under the hooded dryer for a few minutes to get the drying process started because she was going to blow up my hair and she likes to get the excess water out so that my hair is not drenched. It's more damp when she dries it. She then blow dried my hair and I believe she used like medium heat, not high heat, not cool heat, medium. And then after blowing my hair out, she cleaned up my ends and then flat ironed my hair. So here are the results. This is actually the day of when I got my hair done. Typically, I forget to take pictures the day of and then you end up seeing my hair, which now this is several days in, so it's flattened a little bit, but it's still got a lot of body and shine and it still looks and feels good. It's just not as voluptuous, voluptuous, how do you say that word, as it was the day of. I'm actually a few days into my next relaxer stretch and during the stretch I plan to be sticking to my tried and true hair products. My first wash after my touch up, which will be in a few days, <laughs> is actually going to be moisture focused and I'm also going to be using the bond mender treatment from Cream of Nature to help repair the bonds. That's something that I'm going to try to do going forward after I have my touch ups. Eventually, I will be trying out some new hair products. Some of them are new just to me because they've been around for a while, and some of them are actual new hair products. Most of those products I'm probably going to try out once I move into my new house, which should hopefully be within the next month. Um, because actually, now as I'm recording this, I'm staying in my parents' house and my parents are just like moving all around, and I have to keep stopping to talk because they're making noise. <laughs> And I don't want it in the video. 
So my next relax or touch up, I plan to have some time within the next 10 to 12 weeks, which is my typical stretch time. As I said before, I was 11 weeks post this time around. So I was right smack dab in the middle of my typical range. Since I found, <laughs> since I found a hair routine that makes my new growth very easy to manage and work with, it doesn't matter to me that I go that long. Um, it's, it's really easy actually for me to care for my hair like this time around I had no problems with the detangling my new growth wasn't tangling up on itself it was just it's just been pretty easy thus far so I'm hoping that it will continue to be so going into the future all right that's my kind of actually quick recap of my relaxer touch-up and kind of what's going on with my hair and where um, I'm going with my hair if you want more information and to see more about my hair, follow me on Instagram at arelaxgal. I share a lot more there. And um, I'm not doing as many videos right now because, as I mentioned before, I'm in my parents' house. And it's just hard with other people walking around and making noise. Before you go, though, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.